Howdy pinballers, it's uh, Nick here. Thank you again for joining me, I'm on the flippers today. As a bit of a review video this one, if you've been watching it last few weeks, you've been seeing we've been going through Williams Pinball Volume 4. We're going to have a summary of all three tables that you get in this pack, that's published by Zen Studios in 2019. Single you get Whitewater, Hurricane and Red and Ted's Roadshow, all digital recreations done brilliantly from Zen Studios from real life tables. So let's just whiz all through three. If you want to know a bit more information about the tables, look at the individual reviews in the uh, pinball uh, reviews playlist. Hooray! And there's quite a few in there. So the first one is White Water, based on the real life table from Williams, of course, like all these were in 1993. Had a production run of 7,008. And the idea is you're, um, well, you're in Wet Willy's theme park. Yes, I know, a very dangerous sounding name for a theme park. But you must um, get your raft up the creek there, as you can see in the middle, represented by the lights, representing your canoe or kayak or something, in order to act vacation jackpot and I've uh, lost a life already great artwork on all these tables great sound and they just keep getting better and better from generation to generation of console I'm really interested to see eventually what this is going to look like on the PlayStation 5 when it comes out and also what sort of deal Zen Studios is going to be doing because when you had them on the PlayStation 3 Zen let you upgrade to the PlayStation 4 versions for free which is absolutely amazing as that Yeti laughs at us will they be doing the same for the PlayStation 5 we can but hope, but Whitewater, I'd say this is probably my favourite table of the three, but it does uh, wrestle a little bit with Ren and Ted's Roadshow, which we'll come to in a bit as well. Always look at what's lit up on the screen there. I'd love to look at these tables in real life, but um, you know, I live in a place where I might come up one um, in an arcade somewhere, but it's not a regular thing. Plays real good, this is quite kind, goes can last um, uh, quite a while once you get used to it. Like Zet, all Zen's tables as opposed to Far Sights, there's animations on the table there as well. Have reviewed this, the Far Sight version on the PlayStation 4 before they lost the license, so have a look at that one as well if you want to see comparisons. But a real cool table. And as I say, don't go to Wet Willy's uh, theme park or anything that's named like that, because that name is a little bit dodgy. White Water! Right, there's the upper playfield, and we got it down the creek, I think. So we've got the third bolt lit up there in yellow. You you know what's going on. There's a few targets to hit also. So yes, if you're thinking about getting Williams um, Volume 4, although I've only seen the first table so far, or we have in this review, I would say yes, but you know, I'm a sucker for Zen Studios, and I think all their tables are great. Um, I'd, I'd pick the, uh, the pack that's got Theatre Magic on over this one, but they're all super, super, super cool. I do look at a bit of white water rafting. I do that in my spare time. I don't. Shut up, Yeti. I, I don't because I might spill my pint. It might fill overboard. And I'm, I'm not one for litter louting or pollution. That's how much I care about the environment. Was that my last ball? It was my last ball. So that's white water. The next table we'll be coming to is a uh, Harakon. I've leveled up and I cut her off in full flow. Now a hurricane, it's not set in a water theme park, but it is set in some kind of theme park. It's like a, I think a circus or a dry land form, uh, theme park with a, with a clown in the middle. And I'm always a little bit scared of clowns. Hmm. It made me scared of McDonald's for a while, which is pretty good, so my diet's okay. McDonald's, it tastes like plastic, doesn't it? Anyway, off to Hurricane. Let's see how this one goes. Not based on a real Hurricane, so don't, um, yeah. Anyway, it was a, a trilogy of games, of tables, this one. I think Cyclone was another one. Uh, based on the table from 1991, production run was slightly lower than White Water, 4,400, so a little bit rarer. Now, the object of this, there's a couple of Ferris wheels in the top left. The object is to light up that, um clown at the bottom middle there, light up both his eyes and his cheeks as well, if indeed you can. He seems like a fun fella, might be, maybe I'm misjudging him. Nice jolly music this one, um, you know, it's probably the easiest of the three tables this to keep um, long goes going, but um, it seems at least interesting uh, to me. Red and Ted's the most vibrant in terms of speech, that was the latest one as well. All three tables are from the 1990s, a glorious era of pinballing. Right, what have I done there? I've activated something. Uh, interesting ramp on this one that goes right round the side of the table. If I was a very, very rich person, because I love pinball so much, I'd have a big mansion, but most of all, uh, like a back cave underneath, with lots of different tables there, maybe everyone that ever existed. How much would that cost? 
Yeah, they are still making pinball tables, um, but you know, the price is quite um, prohibitive of people actually buying them. And of course, there's a lot of electronics in there, and they're going to go wrong a lot, so you need to be um, good at mechanics also, which I'm not. I remember at school, everything in my hands I wasn't very good at making. The only thing I could make in woodwork was sawdust, and that was a, that was a struggle. Uh, metalwork, the teacher once said to me, don't overdo it. I think it was taking the Michael, you know. But he didn't see my pinball skills. I never made a pinball table at school. That would be wonderful. Lots of electronics going on here. Lots of fun to be had. I get a very... Oh dear, I do get a massive, massive retro buzz from playing pinball. Especially these digital ones. And you know, um, tables get rarer and rarer as the years progress. So it's quite often the only times to see them digitally. And it's good to get a historic representation. Do check out the Farsight reviews as well. They, um, well, before they had these Williams license, a lot of these tables they already covered, uh, but they lost the license. Yeah, Zen Studios, um, their customer service is heaps better, well, than uh, Farsight there. Farsight tends to be a very hands off. I'm not sure how many people were working for them, so it might be an unfair comparison, but Zen Studios have got the balance just about right. Can't wait to see what these look like when the PlayStation 5 comes out, though it might be a while before I get one because of budgeting uh, things. They did do a deal that had, if you had the PlayStation 3, you can upgrade to the PlayStation 4 ones for free. Whether that happens next time or not, I do not know, but that's going to be wonderful to see if they do carry that forward. Do I don't know. What kind of throw is that? So you might, might have noticed that there's a guy there that taunts you all the way through of how bad your gameplay is. I could be sitting here all day. As I said before, if you want more details or more gameplay about any of these tables in the pack, then check that out on the pinball playlist on the channel. I think there's, I think there's about almost 200 um, videos here now. Hooray for that. But there's, there's loads, loads of videos around the place. I've been doing this a while. I think we're, well, I, I think we're over 2,000. I can't count, Single but we've got a lot. Results. Single player results. So that was Whitewater and Hurricane. Whitewater 1993, Hurricane 1991. Very recommend this pack as I came with all of them. And the last one we'll come to is Red and Ted's Roadshow, the most vocal uh, we've called speech of the three. This was the latest of the three in 1994. So all these um, in the 90s. Uh, production runs 6,259, so more than Hurricane, but not quite as much as Whitewater. If you're liking the videos, not just pinball or anything else, please consider subscribing because it does help me in the YouTube algorithm get noticed. Uh, comment if you can. If you can't, well, you know, drop me a, a, a like or just say, or just watch the whole video, which is rather cool. But subscribing is good. It gets the numbers up and makes the channel look popular, and that helps me to keep going. So here we go. Red and Ted. It's got music on this one. Rather cool. Probably the coolest of the three play fields the most going on. There's two pop heads up the top which talk to each other all the way along. And the idea of this is, the idea of this is Red and Ted are two construction workers going across the whole of the USA, causing chaos wherever they go. Uh, once we, um, not the UK, the USA, I mean, did I say UK? I meant USA. Uh, they, they got to work from Monday to Friday, and when we, when we get across the whole of the USA, we unlock some god or wizard, wizard modes. Now this table is very, very amusing. You can rack up the points extremely quickly. Did I say White Water was my favourite table of the three? I've changed my mind. It's this. Our Red and Ted's Roadshow. Heaps and heaps of fun. Heaps and heaps of fun. Lots to unlock. Uh, I think the first thing to do is destroy some guy's taxi cab that's wandered in, in error. Fire in the hole. Yeah, so hopefully this has given you a good impression of Williams Table 4. Uh, well, Williams Pack Volume 4. Williams Pimble Volume 4. Get it right, Nick. Is a uh, light. And jump. Look at that, we're on 39 million already. If only that can be converted to hard cash. Hooray, hard earned cash, as you mean. Right. Right, Whitewater, Hurricane, and Red and Ted's Roadshow. Go for it, man. Wednesday. So we're going through the week. Eventually they'll get to Friday, and that's when we knock off. You'll hear the siren, and then we'll, uh, we've got the weekend off. I used to work Saturdays, which was a bummer, and now I don't, but I don't get a day off in the week, so you know, swings and roundabouts really. Oh god, that ball's gone quickly. So always check on the, if you're confused what's going on, always check in the top left display, it'll tell you what um, county or state we're in in the USA as we go across. I've never completed this one, I haven't really played it. Oh, excuse me, I haven't really played it enough. Friday! Quitting time! Where's my paycheck? 
I don't know. Check your bank account. Always good doing a bit of overtime. I lie, it's rubbish. It's never good doing overtime. I need to do double paid undertime. Is that ever on offer? Do, 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 do. Was that my last ball already? I think it might have been. It was. Game over. So yeah, a great pack this in summary. Williams Pinball Volume 4, although I prefer the one with Theatre Magic on. I think it might have been Volume 3. You get Whitewater, Hurricane and Red and Ted's Roadshow. All tables from the 90s, accurately recreated. Whole pack, published by Zen Studios in 2019. Um, when I bought it, I think it was 7 in uh, British Pound Sterling. But it might, it might be a bit less now. So if you've got any comments about this game, similar games or anything retro, then please put that below. You're always more than welcome. Thanks for watching again. Until next time, keep pinballing and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.